my name is Sarah Gulak and I am teaching here in Harrow. I'm a part-time science teacher and cover teacher. Okay. And how, been, how long have you been here? Uh, about eight weeks now Right. Um, and enjoying every minute. Okay. And what were you doing before you came here? Uh, before I came out here I was working in a small prep school uh, in Worcestershire and there were only about 200 children in that school so it's a very big change coming out to Harrow. And what are your first impressions of this school? Oh, just in awe. <laughs> it's beautiful, very, very beautiful. Yeah. Uh, the campus is just incredible. Uh, it's very, very well equipped. The students are very polite and uh, hardworking mm -hmm. and just delightful. Really? So, yeah. so the teaching is good? Yes, very mm -hmm. good teaching. Yes, it's the ideal opportunity to really teach mm -hmm. rather than crowd control. Right. And most of the students are sort of Thai or from other Asian countries. Yes. Um, how does that sort of affect what you do in the classroom? Um, well, obviously, you have to really watch the type of language that you're using. And if you use any complicated words, write them up on the board so that they can see them um, and explain you know, what they mean. Yeah. Um, so the, the language issue is a really big issue. Mm -hmm. um, but having taught in inner city London school, it's not really that much different mm -hmm. in terms of the AL. Right. You don't speak Thai? No, Do not you? yet. A few <laughs> words. <laughs> okay. Now what about sort of living here, Sarah? What's it like as a sort of uh, um, a young single person living, living here so far? Uh, it's a very exciting place to be. Um, mm -hmm. From the well, the, the travel aspects, I mean, it's perfect hub here in Bangkok to travel to all different parts of Asia. Um, there's so much to see culturally, with the temples, the Buddhas. Um, there's, it, there's just absolutely stacks and stacks um, that you can, you know, organize to go and see. Um, and so every weekend, pretty much, I've been going off and doing something interesting and exciting, going somewhere new. Um, and uh, there seem to be quite a few other young people around um, within the school, um, which I've been able to go off and do things yeah. with them. So. And can you afford to do these things? I mean, what's it like yes. in terms of the salary? Yeah. In terms of salary, um, I can more than afford to do these things. Um, it's not as cheap here in Thailand as it was 10 years ago, um, but it's still very, very reasonable. Um, you can go out for dinner probably every single night mm -hmm. if you so wish, yeah. as long as you eat Thai. Yeah. Um, if you want more Western things, then you're going to start paying a bit more. For instance, wine is very expensive, mm -hmm. and that is luxury. Mm -hmm. um, but the traveling side of things, it's you can do it very, very cheaply. Can you save money too? Yes, you yeah. can save money. I'm managing to save quite a bit of money each month sending it back to England, right. as well as having enough money to do the travelling that I want to do. Mm -hmm. And you live here um, uh, on site, just the pictures of yes. the um, rest of the buildings behind, so what's that like? Uh, it's wonderful from the point of view uh, that there's no commuting mm -hmm. and I can just walk across to school in about two minutes. If mm -hmm. I forget something, I can pop back to my house and grab it. Um, it's also been a real bonus starting off here on my own. Yeah. Uh, I've had people around me all of the time, mm. um, which has been great. So you don't get a chance to feel lonely or mm -hmm. homesick or anything like mm -hmm. that. You just pop next door and see somebody. Yeah. Um, and of course, all of those people who are living here, most of them have been there and done mm. that, and they've all, you know, start, had to start off here too. Yeah. So, um, so there's pretty plenty supportive. of advice mm. and support. Yeah. Mm. And what, what's the actual accommodation that you live in like? Uh, fantastic. <laughs> it's, uh, I felt when I first arrived that I was rattling around in this great big house. Yeah. Um, because the house is, is large. I've got a two-bedroom townhouse mm. um, with an ensuite bathroom mm. and a wet room, wet shower room. Wow. Um, and very large uh, living room and kitchen wow. and all fully equipped. Yeah. Um, so although the furniture is rather basic, uh, you know, you can fill it with all the stuff that you'd like to fill it with yeah. Uh, yeah. during your time here in Thailand. And you have internet facilities? Internet facilities, wireless facilities, although they have, there are a few glitches with that that mm. hasn't quite been worked out yet. I also have a maid, mm. comes twice a week. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so I literally have to do absolutely nothing in yeah, the house. Right. 
Um, she does all of my laundry for me, washes all the floors. Uh, it's just phenomenal, yeah. it really is. So what are the disadvantages about being here? Have you found any yet? Uh, <laughs> no, probably the expense of the wine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I haven't really found any disadvantages yet. Mm, yeah. There may be some at some point, but I'm still very much in the honeymoon period. So can you tell us, just um, so to end, um, how you sort of got your job here and the process you went through to, to, uh, to sit where you are now? Um, okay, I was browsing the TES website, uh, which I had been doing for many months, mm. and I saw the advert for Harrow, um, and I filled in their application form, mm -hmm. sent off my CV application form uh, to Mr. Andrew Winford, mm -hmm. and uh, within... 12 hours I was contacted uh, and asked to go for an interview with the headmaster in London and had my interview and I'm now here. <laughs> <laughs> and would you recommend coming to Harrow to other people in the same situation as you maybe? Absolutely. I, what, what's been so um, great I think about coming to Harrow and I've heard since being here for the last two months um, about other international schools is that Harrow arranges absolutely everything for you to the nth degree. Mm. You don't have to do anything. Mm. All I had to do was just get the right documents together and mm. send them to the relevant person mm. and they've sorted everything out for me. So yeah. the work visas, yeah. um, all of that sort of thing, it's just all been done. It's been so easy. Yeah, brilliant. Good. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs>